I do remember sitting in the back seat feeling like the car was so big and so strong and having my dad and mom in the front. And I remember with my brother having to hold on, hold on tight when my dad would go around corners. My dad bought a 1965 Chevy Impala SS Supersport with everything he had. I think he cherished the car, not just because he was the first owner and he drove it off the lot, but it was more than a car to him. It really was his baby. He had the car for 20 years until the mid 80s. My parents had to sell the car because times were tough and they had to make ends meet. It was not easy for my dad to let the car go. A few years ago, it, it just kind of dawned on me that if I could somehow miraculously find the car, that it, it, it would be worth the search. Does the car still even exist? Is it in a junkyard somewhere? But when I put in the VIN number and paid for the online search, it actually told me what address it had been registered in in a different state. We heard nothing back from the owner, no response. We sent two letters with no response. After Arizona, it went to Pennsylvania. It was in New York. I was two steps behind the car on, on each of my searches. The possibility of finding the car was renewed when the owner in Maine got back to us. But then he said, you just missed the car. A group of Canadians came down, loaded it on a flatbed, and drove it to Canada. At that moment, I figured the car was gone forever. 1965 Chevy Impala. I told my wife, my brother and I decided that we're going to pay the private investigator. She gave me a look. Basically, you guys are crazy. And she said, why don't you just do one more of your general online searches? And it was about 11 o'clock at night, and I sat down, and I typed in the words, and the first hit said, 1965 Chevy Impala SS 396 for sale, Montreal, Quebec. My heart dropped. I called the dealer, confirmed the VIN number that it was the actual car, and bought it over the phone. Gotta give her gas. Okay, that sounds so good. I, I actually may be keeping this for myself. It's just amazing that it's almost 30 years that I used to sit back here. It's incredible. It's like a time machine. So now that we have the car, we've been planning to give it to my dad as a surprise. He has no idea that we've searched for it, and it's going to be the surprise of his life, I think. He will see the car, and he will just say, that's my Chevy. I know he will. <laughs> All right, good job. <laughs> All right, Kate, can you do that? That one? Yeah. yeah let's really all low. Get you. Come really low. Okay. I got you. <laughs> oh, no. What the oh. hell? Dear God. That's my old Chevy. We got it, Pop. You're kidding me. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Oh, no! Yeah. I really got that. God, I'm a heart attack. Where'd you get it? We found it. We found it. I can't talk. I don't, it's okay. It took five years. Really? Hear me? It's all good, Dad. We found it. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm just Daddy, stunned. Look at the back of the light. I, I just don't even know what to say. And it's the same. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same. You want to see? Automatic. It's not Oh, they changed the muffler. Wow. Wow, gee, I can't even believe it. this is for real. It's not just a car. It's all the memories and the feelings. It brings all that back.